need to show you one of the coolest family projects I've ever seen. Uh, this is a half-size, complete replica of an old Disneyland ride called The Mine Train Through Nature's Wonderland. It has an engine car, a gondola, and even a little caboose at the end, which is cute. Um, and get this, this railroad is in my next guest's backyard. Mm -hmm. Let's It's a big backyard. Let's say hello to Ryan and his daughter, Aislinn. How you doing, Aislinn? Thank you. Oh my gosh, Hi. Aislinn, I want to be you. What a cool thing to have at your house. So Ryan, how did this come about? Well, it's interesting. My dad is a big uh, steam train enthusiast and uh, he decided that he wanted to build a ride on train for the grandkids to ride around on. And, uh, you know, one thing led to the other and we worked on it in his garage and it ended up being too big for his yard. So boom, here it is in the backyard of my house in Lincoln, California. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like you mentioned, a half scale replica of a Disneyland ride. Um, and uh, it's on a 350 foot uh, track. It kind of goes through a little tunnel slash engine shed over a station, wraps around the backyard. And then over the front yard, there's a nice big wooden trestle, which is kind of fun for the kids to go over. We've kind of become the life of the party here and uh, are always open to share it with our friends and family. So, um, I want one. For me, not, or for my children. Um, can you give us a little tour of it? It's amazing. Absolutely, come check it out. What's what's really cool about it is uh, we kind of built it with a lot of just average odds and end parts. So like the headlight is a mixing bowl. You probably have one in your kitchen. Uh, the uh, flag holders are actually candlestick holders. Um, the smokestack is PVC pipe you buy from the hardware store. Uh, in the center of the domes here, this is literally just cake pans you can buy it any store that you probably shop at. Wow. <laughs> and then if you come in the cab, there's all kinds of details we've worked out. There's fire in the fire box. It's not real fire because it's actually electric and the gauge was even made out of a cup holder. So pretty cool. No, it, no, 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 no. It's way cooler than cool. Um, I'm freaking out right now. Um, so Aislinn, like, what's your favorite part of the train? I got two favorite parts. And the Mickey ears right over there. Yeah, so oh. one of the things we included is some Mickey ears over the gauge that my dad made. So it's just kind of a fun little hidden Mickey treasure. And, the, and then the, you know, the Oh, she loves the caboose, too. Absolutely loves the caboose. Oh, my gosh. It's magical. Has anybody asked y'all to, like, do this for them? Yeah, you know, it, I mean, I mean, it's something that we definitely entertain, but yeah, it's it's something, it's just a passion of ours. We love to build stuff as a family. We love trains. We love Disney. It's all around just a ton of fun. Yeah, I mean, and just, you know, I am one of those people asking, well, can I pay you to build one? <laughs> it's awesome. I think it's amazing. And Ryan, before you go, I have to ask, you also have another connection to Mickey Mouse, right? I absolutely do. So actually, my oldest brother, Brett, is the fourth person to actually be the official voice of Mickey Mouse. So he's been in a lot of TV shows, theme park. You hear him in the theme park. He's uh, done some video games. And interestingly enough, the first guy to actually voice that character was Walt Disney himself. So we're really proud of him. It's a, it's a lot of fun. That's amazing. Oh, he must be great at yeah. family get-togethers with the kids. Um, well, thank you so oh. much, Ryan. Thank you, Aislin, for taking the time. Thank you. Okay. See you later, Kelly. Enjoy your train. It's amazing.